Today I wanted to make a video on how to do everyday tasks after ACL surgery and today was the perfect time too because Kai just said he woke up and he's hungry for some eggs so I'm going to go to the kitchen and make him some eggs and I figured what a perfect time to show how I cook or wash dishes um, after my leg is you know sore I mean it's sore you can't stand on one leg forever you will get tired so there are ways that I do this sometimes it's time tedious but if you just take the extra steps to do it, it'll make it worth it. It'll make it a lot easier on you too. Let me show you. All right, that was the process. You can see how I had to shimmy the bar stool little by little by little. Anyway, ideally you wanna do that with everything. So I went to go get some eggs. And now to get some breakfast bread so I can toast it. And then I just call him over to come pick up the plate once it's done. Here, Kai. Food's ready. And put it right here. It's gonna be right here. First, I make sure I stand right in front of the toilet. This is my bad leg. I wanna make sure that when I sit down, this leg is more extended. I'm gonna put all my weight on my good leg here. I put one of my crutches down, I just lean it against the wall. I use the grip of this cane, or this crutch here. I hold onto the grip. You always wanna make sure that the floor near the tub or in your restroom area is perfectly dry. And for that, I keep one towel always on the floor so if there's any wet spots, I can dry it. After I dry it and make sure that it's safe for this crutch and it's not going to slip out from under me, what I do is I'll lift my bad leg up and I'll hold down sturdily on my crutch here and I'll start squatting down. I'll hold on right here and I'll sit down like that. And then I can put this crutch down. So that's how I do that. Um, pretty much that's it. Uh, you want to keep one, one, one of your legs will stay out. Uh, as you get a little more flexibility, you'll be able to bend it a little more. But at first, your leg will be uh, sticking straight out. Well, when I'm ready to get up afterwards, it's the reverse. Uh, I get my crutch that I'm going to hold on to, make sure I plant it down firmly. Like, you know, grab a little bit right here on the seat. Or if you have a, a counter, you can push yourself up, but I found it easier to just push down. So push down and 
stand up and then you're good to go. You can wipe or do whatever you gotta do. Next up, I have my shower. You wanna open it up as wide as it can go. What I already have it here, what you cannot see, let me sit down real quick. Oh. Oh. What you cannot see is that down here on the side, tucked in, I actually have a little stool. This is actually a two foot, like a 24 inch stool, I believe. It's a collapsible one, which probably means it's not safe. It's not made for this. It's actually just a little step stool. Yeah, it's a little step stool. It's collapsible. So yeah, I'm a little worried about that, you know, but I'm not going to go out and buy one of those seats that are made for this. I could, but I just, maybe I'm hard headed. So this is not medical advice. I'm just showing you what I had around the house and how I make this work. All right. So my little step stool, I just put it in here, put it as far back as I can get it. I can't get it any further back because my tub has a, a slant, like an arch right here. And I'll just transfer myself from here, from the toilet. And I'll just transfer myself over to this little stool here. And you also want to make sure that your shower head, um, before you get down there and plant yourself down, you want to make sure that you have your shower head adjusted where the water like hits you perfectly. And I can adjust my knobs here for temperature control. I can keep the water down and up. I have my soap and my scrubber and I'll put, I'll sit there and put my legs out that way and I'll make sure to scrub myself real good and uh, get a really good shower out of that. In the reverse order, remember I told you I have a towel on the floor, which I keep down there. There's my towel on the floor. I'll use that towel to dry the floor before I get out. That way when I get out, the floor is dry, it's safe for the crutches, and I can get out safely without having to worry about slipping. Another thing that I didn't mention is that I also wear sandals, like some little house slippers, or just some regular slip-on sandals that I wear around the house. Uh, it gives you a little bit of support and cushion as you're bouncing around. You're not taking that full impact on your crutches. Also, it gives you a little bit of slip resistance in places like the kitchen and the restroom where water is more prone to be laying just on the ground. Okay, so this is how I would transfer over to take a shower. Like these things here, I gotta move them down. Next thing, make sure you got a firm grip on right here on my toilet or right here on the side of the tub. And I will uh, transfer myself over. I'll make sure that I sit down on the little stool. And then as I sit on the stool, I'll pivot my feet in. Uh, so now I got these crutches in my way. Let me move them again. Okay, so I'll sit, I'll make sure to secure my stool, make sure it doesn't slide out from under me. I'll slip onto it and I will bring my legs into the tub. Sometimes I need to fight with these curtains here. And I may need to move them out of the way temporarily just so that I can get my leg in here. And then I'll get the curtains, bring them over again, close it. To get out of the tub, it's the exact same thing in reverse. So carefully bring your leg over, slowly. I'll have a towel laying here, like I told you, to catch any water that may slip out from the tub. I'll also use that towel to dry my feet so they won't be so slippery. I'll get my other foot out of the tub. I'll pivot myself over to the actual tub where I'm sitting, where I'll get my towel and I'll dry myself off everywhere I need to dry off. 
And from there, I can usually stand up on my good leg and I'll get a crutch. I'll get a crutch, hold on to it here, make sure it's not in a wet puddle. Hold on here and use my good leg to elevate myself and stand up. Another thing is if you have no choice but to get dressed in your shower, um, like if you can't just go to your bedroom and get dressed there after a shower, like maybe you have company or guests or whatever, you can put on your shirt here while you're sitting down. I keep my clothes right here next to me on the toilet. I'll just put my shirt here, my shorts here. I'll put on my shorts, put on my shirt, and then I'll get up and go. On a completely different side note, this is how I'm able to walk around with this camera that I'm using for recording right now. I have my, I have my strap, and I just let it hang. <laughs> just let it hang. Let my camera hang, have my crutches right here, and I hop around with my camera right here. One last thing I do want to mention is when you're on your crutches, this is a personal thing for me, but right here where your little arm grips are, I found that every time I hold the crutches with this little screw on bolt facing in front of me, it gets caught on t-shirts and all sorts of things. So I like to hold it facing behind me. All right, this is how I go downstairs. You got one crutch, put it underneath your other arm, grab it, grab them both. What you're gonna wanna do is place it down on the step you're going down on. Get a good firm grip on the rail, so that. And I usually kick my injured leg forward in front of me for balance. And here's how you get in the car. First, put my crutches down, open the door, move my crutches from here to over here, leaning on the door. Then I grab up here on top and I hop on over. Okay, that's how I get in the car. All right, so I guess another thing I just discovered right now is that when you're not going to work and you're on FMLA, it's kind of hard to keep up with the days that you're working. So one of the requirements for my FMLA is that you got to call in every so often. Not every so often, it's all your days that you're scheduled to work, you're supposed to call in. And so I called in today because the way my schedule looks and is set up, it looks like I work today, which technically I did. I'm supposed to be on night shift and I'm supposed to work midnight to 5 a.m. this morning, you know, but when I looked at my schedule, it showed that I worked tonight, but really it was last night. Anyway, so I call in and they're like, you don't work tonight. 
and I'm pretty much just like well then never mind <laughs> like let's forget this ever happened and um, let's dismiss this so again calling in on your day off which kind of sucks and I've done that before on regular schedules too but all right so add that to the list of things that I'm learning about The reason that I say keep living life is because having this leg injury, an ACL tear or whatever you may have on your leg doesn't have to stop you from doing everything that you want to do. I still go down three flights of stairs. I take my kids out to the park whenever I can. Uh, whenever I have to, you know, toss the football back and forth with my son, I'll have my uh, cousin help him out. Um, I still take them to the skate park and the playground just like anyone else would. I, I'll let the kids run ahead of me and I'll hop around behind them. I can still sweep the floors and do various things around the house. So I don't want you to ever get discouraged. It's a temporary part of the recovery phase and we'll eventually get over this. All right, everyone. Well, that's it for this video. I hope I was able to show you a few everyday things. Hopefully I can help you navigate through that situation later in the future. The surgery really isn't that bad and we're gonna get through this. You're gonna feel a lot better after the surgery, I promise you. All right, everyone, so that's it for this video. I came downtown just to hang out with the kids, take Mason to the skate park, have his uh, cousin throw the football with him back and forth. It's a pretty chilly night, so I'm gonna call it for the day. I don't know what else.